Welcome to WebBikeWorld.com. This is a quick look at the new Kabuto Ibuki flip-up helmet. For the full review, more photos, and all the details, please visit WebBikeWorld.com. The Ibuki is a mid- to high-range flip-up helmet from Kabuto, which some of you may know as OGK. It has a composite shell and fairly basic styling, but it has some interesting features. It's part of the expanding Kabuto helmet family that we've been reviewing on WebBikeWorld.com. This one is in a nice pearl white color. It's also available in high visibility yellow, aluminum silver, and matte black. The face shield is pinlock ready, and the pinlock is included in the box. Take that, Schuberth. There's a small friction lock lower center, and if you rest the face shield on it, you'll get a tiny amount of city defogging air. You'll probably be using that quite a bit. It also has an internal sun visor that could use about another 15 millimeters or so of travel to make it more useful. The face shield is pretty easy to remove and replace. There are three molded posts that have to be aligned with the slots to get it back in. Be sure to read the full WebBikeWorld.com review for more info on eye port visibility and optics. The chin vent is very small and it's the one issue we have with the Ibuki. It opens just two millimeters wide and there are no vents through the chin bar so what little air comes in flows through the top of the breath guard. By the way on the side we left the cardboard notice there to show you the helmet is designed to fit eyeglasses and it does that pretty nicely but it's not a huge difference. The top venting system is interesting. They slide open and the large exhaust fan in the rear pulls that air through the top of the helmet. The system makes for one of the best upper ventilation systems we've experienced in a flip-up helmet. And it's actually fairly quiet even with the vents open. The rotating flip-up visor lock is on the left-hand side and we're not big fans of that. It's a little hard to find when wearing gloves. The rotating visor has a stiff detent at the top which holds it tightly in the raised position. Inside is a rather large micro-lock chin strap system. We definitely prefer the simpler and lighter double D-ring. The liner is very comfortable though, very nicely padded and thick, and it blocks a lot of wind noise. There's also a nice chin curtain in the front that's included and installed at the factory. The helmet fits an intercom, not the easiest, but it works depending on the type of intercom, of course. So that's a quick look at the new Kabuto Ibuki flip-up helmet. Be sure to read the full WebBikeWorld.com review for all the details and lots of photos. Thanks for watching.